Hello everybody, it's Jonathan and Justin today, and we're heading west on the New York State Thruway because we're going to the great New York State Model Train Fair in Syracuse. So let's get going. My name is Jonathan, and I'm a caregiver for my wife, Lynn, who has a permanent brain injury. Things are a bit different now, but we're doing the best that we can. Join us as we experience the Lynn Life. Well, we're here. It's in the Exposition Center in the New York State Fairgrounds in Syracuse. All right, we're inside and I can already tell there's a lot more people than last year. There's a lot of people just because of the parking situation. And uh, it's a beautiful day today. It's in the 70s outside and don't even need a coat. And that might be driving a lot more people to come here too. But I'm excited to get inside, so let's get going. As you can see, this is a big space. A lot of vendors, a lot of model railroads to see. That's what I'm really going to concentrate on showing you because some people have told me that uh, from the last, from last year. They wanted to see more model railroad stuff. They actually wanted to see trains running. So I'm going to try to show you that as much as possible as well as some of the vendors. I'm, gonna, I'm here to look at some of the vendors but I don't have to record all that. So uh, this, is, this is a fun video. Now here's a first, an entire train consisting of just cabooses. Very cool, I love it. Kids love this show, not just to watch model trains going by, but to actually sit in some little rail speeders like this that are on display. This vendor is here every year. They repurpose old traffic lights and signs, stuff like that, for your man cave or train room. I actually own one of their products. And there's trains from everything, whether it's HO or G-Scale like this one. I saw a lot more G-Scale at this uh, train show than I have in the past. If you're not familiar with G-Scale, it's very large, usually used for garden railways outdoors, but not exclusively. And then we have the uh, plenty of O-Scale or Lionel train sets, even an Elvis train set. I wasn't even aware that Elvis had a train set. And if you're looking for parts, this is the place to go. Um, there's parts for everything. And if you're interested in a model railroad club, there are plenty of them represented here. In my experience, the vendors here are all friendly, willing to negotiate about price, and just love to talk about model trains. I've never seen a plane like this. Very nice. I, it's all my design. I designed yeah. all of it. It's a great idea. So you can test it, service it, or you can use it for display. Yeah.
Well, we appear to have some trouble on the mountain after a snowstorm. Some of these vehicles uh, may have slid off the road. That's not good. Yeah, there's an accident over here. Justin noticed that there's some photographers up on the hill recording the damage. And if you need emergency vehicles of your own, I know where you can get them. And this is a standard gauge setup here. It's a little smaller than G scale. It's not meant to be very realistic. But boy, are they beautiful. And this is a very compact layout. It's a very well done end scale layout that'll fit in a very small space. Now let's move on to live steam. Live steam can be in a variety of gauges. This particular one is in G gauge, and he's actually putting water in there right now for this, to create the steam. Good afternoon, folks. We're at the, um, the annual Great uh, New York State Train Fair, and we're here at this um, live steam uh, demonstration, and this is run by Real Steam. And he's got uh, alcohol in, in the back. It's, it's finally in the boiler, and he's got, he just put water in it now, just a few minutes ago. Yeah, and he has two wheels in the front. And, and then, uh, oh, that's, uh, Nice. Very cool. These are all kits that you can buy and machine and put together. Did you get that? Yeah. Sorry about my hand. It's all right. These are G-gauge locomotives in a, a garden railway type of uh, setup. And I believe these locomotives are remote control, are being powered by rechargeable batteries. And trains aren't just for guys, as the girl on the other side has discovered. There's even a pink train for her.
this display shows you a comparison in sizes like G gauge, standard gauge, O gauge and O27 which actually use the same track, S gauge which is like American Flyer, HO which is what I use, N which is a bit smaller, and the smallest Z gauge. been saving this one. This is a special one that Justin actually spied it. It's Lego Users of Central New York. They put on a great display over here. Le Justin is a Lego guy. He has been since he was a kid. Uh, I remember your, your grandparents buying you a big Lego set. They thought it would take care of you for months and you'd have it done in half a day. You're always amazing when it came to Lego. So this is a model railroad. It's all Lego. And it's really, really cool. So I want you to be able to see this. So. Okay, this is amazing. An interesting note that these trains are all Lego trains and they aren't any of the gauges I showed you previously, but the people in the club refer to it affectionately as L gauge. Now moving on to Egypt and the Great Pyramid. This thing is gigantic. Where do you keep this stuff? I think the pharaoh's in there somewhere. Very cool. And next to it, an ode to Star Wars. That's an ad at. And behind it, you have a whole bunch of creepy spiders. Yeah. 
And if the kids at the show weren't already bitten by the model train bug, this ought to finish them off with a train ride. Well, I've had a good time. Do you have a good time, Dustin? A lot of trains. It's a good way for me to start my model railroad season. Because I don't do it so much in the summer. But in the winter, things get cold, I retreat into my little model railroad room. And I like to, uh, that's how I pass the time during the cold winter months. And this is a good way to get started. Plus, we got some information on some model railroad clubs and things like that that I'd like to uh, find out more about. And I think that's going to do it. Dustin and I are going to go get something to eat. And we'll see you next time on the Lin Lab. That's right, Dustin.